day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Yes. So when, when in those times when when we allow the spirit within to function on our behalf, then those are the times that you see signs and what and that may not be big things that are big to us, but they could be mighty workings of God to the individual. And we just don't see it as such that we go on our way and this person just has has been blown away. Yeah. See, I, I even have a, a, a testimony. When I was coming back from my brother's homeowner, I pulled in to get gas. Now, I didn't need that, but I thought, okay, well, the further you go north, the more expensive the gas is. Right. And so I just didn't want to have to get gas once I got in the town. And so, but even though I had enough gas to make it home, I went ahead and got gas so that, like I said, when I got home, I wouldn't have to just go to the gas station, you know, uh, before when I got home or, you know, a few days after. Right. I would have enough gas, you know, like I have a tank of gas to do what I want to do. So I went ahead and pulled into this gas station, which I normally wouldn't do. And so I pulled in. And as I found a uh, a pump, I go to pull in, and I noticed this gentleman just walking. Just noticed him as I was pulling in. I pull in, and I, I come over, and I'm and I'm walking around, and uh, I let my wife out the vehicle. She goes into the into the uh, service station, and. Uh, I'm getting ready to, to get gas, and this guy comes over and he starts talking. And I'm like, okay, what is this guy's <laughs> angle? You know, immediately. You know, what he, is he, he came talk to you. He came over to me, and so uh, in in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, what is his hustle? I'm, I'm ready for defensive hustle, and I'm getting ready to formulate. You know, my answer, no. <laughs> okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he goes and he's like, okay, well, you know, uh, I'm me and my wife, we were uh, headed up north and uh, to this job, and uh, we really need this job because this is this, this job I've been looking for and such and such. And, um, but we didn't have the funds to actually make it. But we said, uh, we'll just, we'll try anyway. We'll try and make it. And so, uh, matter of fact, I hadn't yet pulled my wife out of the car yet, you know, let her out. And uh, so he said, I was wondering, he said, I was wondering if you could uh, help me out with some, some gas, whatever it is whatever, you know, I'll take it. And so I was like, man, well, I know we don't carry a whole lot of cash on us, you know, <laughs> but anyway, especially on the way home. <laughs> right. Because we'd be expensive but while we were doing what we were doing. So as I said, you have any cash knowing that if, it, if she did, it wouldn't be a whole lot. And so she's like, no, nah, I don't have nothing but a dollar. So I'm like, okay, well, whatever. I said, I'm good. And so she goes and does what she does. And so I said, well, give me a minute. So he goes back over to his car. And uh, that's when I noticed his wife over there. And she's standing there looking around. And they're in this little old truck that's just back in packed, you know, with all kinds of knickknacks and stuff and covered with uh, parts. I'm looking at him as I'm pumping my gas. And, um, now, I've already made up my mind I'm going to give him some gas. And now I'm trying to figure out, am I going to just, you know, put my card in and tell him to put so much in? 
for the yeah. I put it in, I let him put it in, <laughs> you know, and I'm going through this struggle, you know, how much should I give him, you know, and everything. And so I just walked over there and I hadn't made my mind up. And so I walked over and I said, uh, I said, here you go. And I put it, I put my card in, I put in my, uh, my pen. And so as soon as I put my pen, he goes, well, how much should I put in? And I said, just fill it up. Yeah, fill it up. And so I went on back to my car. And when I went, he goes, for real? I said, yeah. He says, are you sure? I said, yeah, just fill it up. And so I just didn't even think about it no more. Right. You know, that, that thing was done. I blessed him. You yeah, know? yeah. And so not thinking that it was something that God had in the midst. So I go back in my car, and I see him walking back over to me. And I roll my window down, and when my window comes down, I know this guy had tears swelling up in his eyes. Oh, man. Hey, man. Thank you so much. He said, you just don't know <laughs> what you've done for me. He said, God bless you. God bless you so much. And the tears just started coming down his eyes. And he was like, man, he just, and he just could not believe that that happened. Wow. And so in that moment, it, it really meant nothing to me. Yes, sir. But it meant everything to that To man. him, yes. That's an act of love. Yeah. You know what I mean? That and was so showing love. I, 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 I tried to think of how to respond. And you say, God bless you, man. Just bless God. Yeah, that's what I, yeah. Because it's God being able to you. I want, yeah. I want, yeah. That's that's the key to it is saying is, just remember God will provide. He provided. Yeah. I may be on a tool, but he is the one that provided for you. Yeah. And and just give him the praise and the glory. That's all yeah. I have, that's all I want you to do is give yeah. him the praise and the glory. Because he kept saying, Well, God bless you, God bless you. I said, No, nah, bless God. <laughs> and, uh, and, I, and I drove off and, and, and it didn't even dwell on me until you know I'm down the road a little bit and I started thinking about that scenario. I was like, Wow, God is so awesome. Yes, sir. You know, because I could have just I could have no, I don't have no money. Right. You know. Right. Or here, just put in five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was I was thinking that he was. A lot of cases I have been in scenarios where you we bless people who actually needed the gas, and then there's those who wanted the money, not the gas, mm -hmm. really. You know, they mm -hmm. they they keep saying, no, "I need the money." I said, yeah. "No, let me take you to the service station, and I'll put gas in your car." And yeah. and uh, they they really want not. They say, but see, if I had the money, I could, I could, I can, I can use it later as I move forward. I said, well, yeah. I can't give you cash, but I will yeah. feel you. I'll give you gas. Yeah, I've done that before. I've, I've actually, I've given money, and no, I was, I know, knew I was hustling. I went in and put money in there, and knew I was hustling because they would act like they were putting gas in. Yeah. And then they would go get the rest of the money. Back. Right. You know, they put a few dollars in. Yeah. And so, so yeah. But in that particular moment, oh yeah, yeah, to do, but just yeah. put the ass in. Yeah, and that's all he, he wanted. You could tell. Yeah. It wasn't that I did that so that he could not do that. It just ended up being that way to where he could not do nothing but get the gas, even if he was. Trying to to hustle, awesome. me, but yeah, it's my, on my mind. If he was hustling, he was hustling. Right. He, he you, never, it never you, really dawned on me after that first thought. Well, this is a hustle. Yeah. So when I was like, well, whatever, you know, yeah. I'll just help. Hey. Yeah. So yeah, it it, it 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 blessed me, and it still blesses me in that scenario because I'm trying to really understand what actually happened when it comes to my involvement and so that I don't miss that opportunity next time, you right. know, and allow Myron to respond. Exactly. Myron was ready to respond. No, nah, man, I ain't got it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you would have been there. You've been there when those Pharisees or that Levite that passed on the other side of the yes. road. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. And so uh, these, these 
these principles are true. They are true. And it really, really showed me that this guy could have, he could have prayed. I need a full tank. If I had a full tank of gas, <laughs> I'd make it up there. And I'm going to sit here until I get enough people to give me, you know, a yeah. little bit, five dollars here, five, whatever it takes to get up there. I could have been the last person. He might only need five dollars. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I have no idea. I never even looked at my, my statement to see how much he put in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He could have been, he could have been on E. For real on E. <laughs> uh, but the fact of the matter is, it had to be something that he prayed about. Yeah, he said it. Yeah. Well, he, I don't know if he said about praying about God, but he did say, we'll just move forward and, and see what happens, yeah. right? He stepped out on faith, no different than that centurion did. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, and he was thankful. And uh, that is something that, that, that stuck with me. Yeah, because he probably found out that God was real. And it obviously did because of his response. Because yeah. God must have told him, just go. You know, like Abraham, go. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and as if you ever noticed, like even Abraham was blessed as he went. Yeah. Uh, they, yeah. It was he, that he went, he was blessed. He you went. Know, yeah. in, in his going, he, he, he didn't go the way God told him to go, but he went. <laughs> he went, right. You know, and it, there's nothing saying that you ain't going to have trials and tribulations in your going. But nonetheless, God's hand was on his life the entire way, even in the, the darkest time, you know, when his life was in peril. Right. You know, and even when he, he was willing to give his wife away. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he said, they're going to kill me, baby. They're going to kill me. <laughs> I mean, look. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he was different. I mean, that sounds like a pimp to me. Oh, uh, well, well, hey, look, I, I would say fear is <laughs> fear. He right. said, they, they'll kill me. The <laughs> they'll process kill me. is the process. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but but I did like the fact that, you know, he did, it's interesting uh, in that scenario, he did not ask for God's protection when he went into that village or that little, now it became kingdom. He did not expect it. He didn't. He didn't. He said, and God had told him though, get away from your family house and I'll show thee, you know, another land. Yeah. But he never did. It's interesting. He did not call him though. But God, you saw that though. <laughs> hey, God was the one. He told, he yeah. told, I think it was twice, wasn't it? He said, you're a dead man. <laughs> he told that man, you if you touch that man's woman. Yeah. You're dead man. <laughs> but see, and that lets you know that through your through your obedience Woo. to God, through your willing to walk follow God and to yeah, and to walk in his will, wow. that your house is sanctified. Woo! That even your your children and your 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 wife, they are sanctified by your willing to honor God. Amen. And so that, that, that's just an obvious example of that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? And, and to know that is to put faith in that. Yes, sir. If you have, scripture, if you have precedence, it's no different than going to court. If there's precedence, then you can call God on it and mm -hmm. put your faith in it. Yes, sir. That's how, you, that's how you call God. You you apply your faith in a process that God has has operated. In. Then wow. you know there's a principle that He is He follows, and so your faith will actually carry you through that as long as you don't wait. And so these are some of the things that that are being manifest in my life, even on greater scale. Yeah. But, when I look at these things uh, in that manner, okay, well, this this actually happened to second time. Uh, yeah. This is what happened in the Bible, and this is the, the results of it. Yeah. You know, and 
knowing that without my mind being renewed when those things come, then I would not know how God responds and I won't need it. Yes. Yes. That you know, response, I, the Holy Spirit won't won't have any substance to bring into remembrance, you know. And then there are sometimes be, because of my uh my my ears being sensitive to the will of the spirit that is my prayer you know and god honors those those prayers he gives you those things that you ask then i hear even scriptures that i do not even remember reading. yes it brings it he brings it to you remember yeah yeah so so that these are the things that that that, that god has promised that god has put into operation and they cannot fail. Right. It's if we stay on, yeah. stay on, stay on message, brother. And, yeah. You know, and that's what that's and that's why I think that's why the, the topic is there about the truth will make you free. Yeah. Uh, and, and then also it talks about the fact is that, that what you uh presented today lines up with these scriptures. And let's let's give these people some word because that's what's gonna matter, right? Amen. That that was gonna stay in their mind. Is the word of God. We're going to deposit that. So take us to this little journey here. One second. Of uh, John 8, starting in verse 30. And let's read through that. I think it goes all the way like 42 or 50 something. But go okay. ahead and read that. Now he spake these words. Many believed on him. This yes. is Christ, but obviously. Right. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. If you continue in my word, come on, bro, come on. Then are ye my disciples indeed? Come on, lads up without a burden. Know the truth. You shall know the truth, and you shall know the truth, <laughs> and, and the, the truth shall make you free. Yes, 